so you, it seems to be like the change that you turned way more into a groove uh, a and pocket, pocket yeah, player than, yeah. than back in the days. How yeah. did that come apart? You know, it, it really depends on what the music calls for. Yeah. In Jose's situation, the music calls for that. Right. It calls for um, kind of digging into an R&B vocabulary and settling into parts, playing parts, and really, um, you know, developing a vamp and playing it with conviction and playing it like you believe it so that the audience gets into it too. I think that, you know, with Jose's shows, the audience is a lot different. The audience is kind of coming for a shared experience, you know, which is not to say that jazz audiences don't, but I feel like it's a different thing. I feel like, yeah. you know, they kind of want to dance a little bit and they kind of want to party, whereas a jazz audience is much more of a listening audience yeah. and kind of a studying audience. So um, I found that, you know, Playing that has been really good, not only to, to for what the music calls for, but also in terms of sharing the music with the audience. I think it has, it definitely has. beautiful drum nerds all around the world. If you like that video, please give us some love and click there for subscription. And if you want to see another cool video, click there and you see another cool video. How cool is that? So I hope to see you around. Stay tuned.